So hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soji Gray and welcome to the best Android home screen setup of the week. So in this video, I'll be creating a new setup that I'm gonna be rocking on my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra for a week. And I'm gonna be sharing the journey with you guys. So this is in fact a tutorial. You can follow this if you want to end up with the same home screen setup I'm gonna end up with. I'm gonna be leaving the screen recording here so you can check it out whilst I run you through the tutorial. So this setup is going to be made on top of the Microsoft launcher. It has been a while since I created something with the Microsoft launcher. And the Microsoft launcher, to be honest, is one of my best uh, launches out there because uh, I like the way it syncs with your Microsoft account. So if you're someone who loves to use the Microsoft accounts, maybe you're using a Windows laptop and you use all these um, Windows software, this launcher is gonna really come in handy and that is why I really love this launcher. So we are starting with a blank screen. I just wanna start everything from the ground up and I have this really beautiful wallpaper here and it is from the Wally -E Pop app. Now, the Wally -E Pop developer in collaboration with me will be giving out some uh, promo codes for the, the wallpaper app. So if you're interested, watch to the end of this video so that you know the instructions on how you can qualify to get a free promo code. So this is very blank and as you can see, I have like four icons at the bottom. Uh, and ideally, I don't want to have the dock here, so I'm gonna take the dock off. To do that, I'm gonna long press the home screen, go to launcher settings, and then I'll see dock. I'll click the dock mode, and then I'll turn it off. So coming back to the home screen, we just have a blank home screen, which looks very plain. So we're gonna add our own touches to it. The first thing I want to do is to separate my essential apps or my work apps from my basic apps. So I wanna have like two setups on this home screen. And ideally once you swipe up, you're gonna see your apps very nicely arranged here. But to do the, the desktop layout, to have two different layouts, you're going to long press the home screen, go to launcher settings, and they're going to go to home screen. And then we're coming, we're gonna click more and then you can see we have scroll up and down to switch pages. So I'm gonna click that and then we're gonna restart Microsoft Launcher. It has restarted and it has activated that. So now what this helps us do is to scroll through pages vertically, which is nice. Like this is something I don't personally see on a lot of launches. So that's what, you know, I like about this launcher. But before that, let's add some apps to the home screen. Now I wanna add some work apps. So I'm gonna go down to the drawer and I'm gonna select some apps. For work apps, I would select six work apps. So I'm gonna take uh, YouTube Studio. And the nice thing I like about the Microsoft Launcher is that once you click or once you long press an app, you have some options. So you, you can click the select button so that you can do some multiple selections. So I'm gonna glance through and select six apps. Let me choose WhatsApp Business, um, Play Store, the phone app, I'll probably look for the messaging app uh, and then two more my Google Home app and then finally the dribble app so now right at the top you'd see that you have the home icon and you have a folder icon so you can group all of these into a folder or you can just send them to your to your home screen in my case I'll be sending it to the home screen so I'm gonna click the home one and as you can see I have the app showing here so I'm gonna drag them to the bottom because how beautiful this wallpaper looks, it actually gives you space to arrange some apps at the bottom. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to long press and drag, long press and drag. In fact, if you don't want to long press and drag, the best thing you can do is to long press on any of them, click select, and then you can easily select all of them and you long press it again and then you can drag all of them together, which is very simple. So now that I have all these here, I think I have to add just one more app. I'm gonna add, hmm, what app should I even add? I'm gonna add my calendar app. So I'm gonna add Google Calendar here, uh, drag it and I'm gonna leave it here. So now we have uh, our first desktop or our first uh, page and this is going to be our work page. I'm gonna change the icon pack because I don't like the default icon pack at all. So I'm gonna click long press the desktop, go to launcher settings and then I am going to go to home screen because we have icons over there. And then we're gonna to go to icon appearance. 
So we have the icon set to system. We're going to choose Enix and we're going to click OK. And then we're going to come back and just look at that. We have an amazing um, home screen with this amazing looking um, icon from Enix. So now, as you can see, the icon pack did not apply to calendar. So I'm going to change that manually. So you long press that and then you click the sign and then you click the edit icon and then you can select which icon you want to use from, you know, all the number of uh, icon packs you have. And since I'm using Enix, I'm going to select Enix and then I'm going to go back. And you realize that we now have the Enix icon for the calendar app. So now this is looking amazing already, but I want to, you know, put an indicator to show that this is the work page. And so that if I create the second page, which I'm going to call basics, it will be easily uh, distinguishable. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to long press the home screen and I'm going to click add widgets. Next, I'm going to look for KWGT and I'm going to drag it to the top of the monitor. So as you can see on the wallpaper, we have some window blinds and we have a dex down below and then we have the monitor. So I'm going to place it slightly above the monitor, drag it up a bit and I'm going to click the setup. Now I'm going to look for my, my widgets. I already have a basic widget I've created called work just to indicate that this is my work page and there you have it. This is how my work page looks. It looks amazing just with the window blinds and the monitor from the wallpaper. It kind of, uh, it kind of blends into this whole setup and I like it already. So we're going to create a second page, which I'm going to call basic where I'll have, you know, my go-to apps that are not really work related. So to do that, you're going to long press the home screen. And once you're done long pressing the home screen, you're going to swipe up. And you'd notice that we have another page. We're going to click that. And once you click that, we're going to have a blank page to work with. So you're going to add some apps to the second page to do that. We're going to swipe up and select some, um, some apps basically. So I love uh, asphalt nine. I'm going to click select Apple music, and then I'm going to add maybe Dolingo, um, going down my Google home app, Instagram, Google keep, um, photos, pocket cast, PUBG. Let me add it to the home screen and see if I would have to add some more. Now easily, I'll just have to long press this, click select, and then I'm going to select all the apps I want to drag to the next page. And then once I long press it again, I can drag it. I bring it here and then I can arrange it here. So now I'm going to nicely arrange the apps in a four by two format because that's the format that fits this current space on the on this amazing wallpaper so that is what i'm doing now i don't know what's wrong with my thumb today like what is wrong with my thumb dragon it and then finally instagram now i'm going to delete duolingo because i don't want it anymore on the home screen. So now we're going to add the basics widgets to show that this is my basics page and the other page is my work page. So you long press the page, we click add widgets. And we're going to look for KWGT. Just choose any, any of the placeholders. Basically, normally I choose two by two and then I readjust it later. Uh, looking for KWGT now. So two by two, I select it, drag it slightly above the monitor. And I think this works. You're long pressing it and then we're going to go to the widget I created for it. So that's basics. I'm going to select that, click OK, and then back to the home screen. So as you can see, this is my basics page and this is my work page and it looks amazing. With Microsoft Launcher, I love the fact that you can swipe to the left and have access to some of your important information and your frequently used apps and amongst others. And also you have the glance section and the news section. If you want to quickly, you know, read some news articles, you can do so with the Microsoft launcher. So this setup looks clean. It looks amazing. And the wallpaper I used, as I said earlier, is from Wallipop. And the Wallipop app has amazing custom made wallpapers. You don't have these wallpapers on any other app, on any other platform. This is very bespoke. And I just love the way the look, they look very unique and that's what I love about it. So I reached out to the developer and I told him that I wanted to do a, a very small giveaway and he gave 
he gave me some codes i'm going to be sharing them on my instagram this uh what, what's today's date today's uh 12th so 12th december i'm going to be given this um i'm going to be giving these promo codes away uh 5 p.m gmt on my instagram page which is soji underscore gray i'm going to be leaving a link to my instagram down below so make sure you're following so that when i post it you'll be alerted uh turn on what's it called story notification on instagram or something so that once i post it you'll be able to see it and then you can get access to the codes the the wallpapers on this app is crazy and i mean try as much as possible to be part of those qualified enough to get it and i know you're going to enjoy it so uh that is that for this video i hope you enjoyed it. i hope you found it helpful if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released you're going to be updated instantly i go by the name soji gray and i'll catch you in the next one peace out